Hi, I'm Julie Caitlin Brown of Evolution Expo, and you're watching the Reality Check TV. The lady of the hour, in my opinion, the very lovely, very beautiful Julie Caitlin Brown. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? So why don't you explain to the fans what is the Evolution Expo? Well, Evolution Expo started as an idea about three years ago with my son, Dustin Brown, and myself looking at what was out in the market for conventions and uh, science and how the synergy of science and science fiction was becoming a really big deal because of all the STEM outreach, the science, technology, engineering, and math that NASA and other educational programs was doing. And they were using science fiction to help engage young people to see the connection you know, with our space program, we've had 3,000 different inventions that touch our daily lives. So the money we spend to go up into space has a direct impact on the quality of our life. And we, we sat and thought about it and said, well, if we were going to do an event, what would be the focus of that event? And for me, it was putting the science back into science fiction. How are we going to engage young people and older people to see the connection and why a space program is important, to see why studying those... Uh, disciplines is important. If you're going to go to Mars, which by the way, I'm sorry, it's a one-way ticket. If you're going to go to Mars, you have to be able to be multidisciplinary. You can't just do one thing. You have to do so many different things because they can only send, what, seven of you? So we wanted to bring in all these different scientists and engineers and teachers, as well as our celebrities who love science, Maya Bialik, from the Big Bang Theory, is a neuroscientist and an actress. And we wanted to show that connection up close and personal to our fans. Just walked in. There's a stormtrooper right here. Are you guys like okay with that? I'm watching out for you guys. Yes. I'm on all right. Okay, he's a, he's he's here for good this time. Okay, all right. That's the spark. This okay. young man right there yes. came to us and said, "Hi, mom. Let's run a convention together." And I said, "Oh, are you crazy?" I said, "This is a lot of work and it's crazy." And then we started talking about what we could do to make it special or different or unique in this market share and. And that's what we did. We just kind of kept brainstorming and talking to different people and different partners came on. Our Chabot Space and Science Center and the Roddenberries have been very supportive. And we are just really grateful that it's become a reality. It was three years in the making and we're going to let him go. He has many things to do. Yes. Goodbye. Sorry. On the run. He's on the on run. On the run. Yes. But uh, yeah, that was it. So uh, why don't you tell the people out there what is your connection to science fiction in particular, uh, being the lovely actress uh, that you are? Well, I never got to be a lovely actress on these shows. I was always in full makeup. I was Ty Kajada on Deep Space Nine, uh, season one, episode nine. I was Vekor in season eight, The Gambits, part one and two. And I was Natoth on Babylon 5 for a couple of seasons. Then I came back and reprised the role in the fifth year. I was also on Sliders as the only female Chromeg, Colonel Cash. Mm. So, uh, but you, uh, we also spoke off camera um, earlier. Uh, you uh, told me that you work with one of my heroes, uh, Mr. Lee Majors. I yes. did. I did a project in um, uh, Hawaii mm -hmm. uh, with him, and it was such a treat. He was such a funny guy. He wanted that part so bad that, and he and he was really in good shape. You know, he's a six million dollar man. Mm -hmm. And they said, well, you know, this character's kind of broken down. He's a little pudgy. He's not really you. Mm. And he went in the bathroom and stuffed cotton and stuff in his cheek to make himself look fat and then undid his shirt and kind of just lumbered in and kind of do, 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 and he got the part. And it was really funny to watch this six million dollar man play kind of a broken down old detective. Mm. And we had kind of a moment. I got to be with, oh, it's so mm. nice to, oh, it was really fun. Yeah, well, I mean, and he's one of my uh, childhood heroes, and he would be a good fit mm -hmm. to come to the Evolution Expo, hope maybe next year. Hey, uh, you never know. I'm you never a, know. I'm just planting that seed. You're planting the seed, planting yes. The seed. We think our gala was fantastic. We, we raised over $20,000 for seven different charities. Um, we had a beautiful Friday night Hollywood party in the presidential suite with our uh, elite guests with all of our celebrities and it was such a beautiful night we had a string quartet you know every it was just really really special the food was wonderful the Marriott did great food for us we had space age karaoke last night and everybody was singing all their songs and enjoying themselves um, and of course our Evo Kid program I think that's what we want to know what would you like to see in this type of show and how can we do some things better or did we do things well we'd love your feedback 
That sounds like fun. Space age uh, karaoke. I probably would have done David Bowie, ground right. control oh, to Mr. Yes, yes. yes, exactly. But, um, so for anybody out there who would like to get in touch with you, who would like to throw in their suggestions, uh, do you, uh, is there a website yes. or anywhere where you can... Um, Please email us. Go to our website at evolutionexpo.net and there is a contact us. There's a bunch of satellites on the page. Contact us. Write to us. You can write. You'll come right to me and I will answer you. Um, I'm crazy, stupid, fast on getting back to people, and, and they, they're like, do you sleep? And I'm saying, not that much. So write to me. Um, if I can't answer your question, I will find somebody who can. And really, this is a relationship that we're building with you, with the city of Oakland, with the Bay Area. I'm from the Bay Area, born and raised. Uh, my son lives in Sausalito, and a lot of our team is local. So we're very, very much about building something here. So remember that. Uh, go go to the website and uh, throw in your suggestions. I'm throwing in mine right now. Uh, Lee Majors, okay. uh, six million dollar man. Uh, maybe Buzz Aldrin. There you Another, go. <laughs> there you go. I'm God just. God willing, Buzz will still be with us next year. Yes, yes. And um, and yes, this could yeah this could be the start of something big. I mean, is, I mean, and uh, and come come along, and we'll, we are going to keep you guys updated as uh, as next year's Evolution Expo comes uh, into play. We will be updating you, and uh, hope and uh, hopefully you guys can uh, join us next year. How about that? Thank you so much for your time.